What is going on everybody and well before we get into the video first thing I want to say is happy holidays everybody kind of insane how we're almost in the next year already but jumping right into the video so the time trials have been reset on GTA and this week we have the Elysian Island 2 which honestly I thought this one was going to be kind of hard but I think the hardest thing about this one is going to probably be the snow because your car will slide all over the place. I completed this one in the new Pegasi Ignis which to my surprise this car did a very good job on this one. Didn't struggle like I thought it was going to even with the snow. Specifically, I thought I was going to slide into everything, which I was actually sliding into a lot of stuff, but luckily it wasn't as bad as I thought. So if you're wondering where to go on this one, this one could be a little tricky. So start right off, follow the waypoint here like you normally would and continue all the way down. And then there's a little railroad track here. You're going to want to take a left on, but be careful in this area because uh, I ran into, I think it's metal and a little box thingy there a couple of times. So take a left there and continue all the way up the railroad here like you normally would, then take a left. Now I noticed, I don't know if it's a snow, but my car was going pretty dang fast on the railroad track. Um, I wasn't even on it that much, and I was hauling pretty good. It might be cement there, but I can't really tell because of the snow. Then take a left here and continue down. I do not follow the waypoint. Um, I don't think that's a really good route to go at all. What I recommend doing is continuing down this way, all the way on the highway here. Now over here I did mess up. I went on the opposite side of the road because I slid too much in the snow. But continue on the highway here all the way down until you get to this area. Continue down and you could follow the waypoint like you normally would here. Take a left there. Continue all the way down. The biggest thing is pretty much just watch for cars turning and all that because they will, well, try to do that every single time. Continue all the way down this direction here. Now, do not, I wouldn't follow the waypoint. You could go left here. But what I recommend doing is continuing straight and then take a left at this road right here. Mainly because you can go all the way straight down to where the actual waypoint checkpoint thingy is there. So I recommend doing that. I think it's a little bit easier so doing all these turns here kind of just waste time. I did slide a lot and crashed a couple of times and was having issues with the snow being here. And I, uh, you know, went down this direction. I still managed to beat this in a minute and 42 seconds. Need a minute and 50. So it's really not too bad. I beat this one a really long time ago in the Sejoy, which is like the, I probably said that wrong, but that's like the Type R looking car there. And that car did this pretty well. So I did run the Pegasi Ignis and this car did great. Even in the snow, if you guys want something that might do a little better in the snow, I recommend trying a bike might be your best bet. Anyway, here's the time trial. And for the RC Bandito time trial this week, we have the Davis Courts. 